amigos, hola amigas, welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam, welcome to the channel, y'all. Chesh mash, good day, y'all. So as you can see, I have something here that is a beast of a washing machine and dishwasher, and this is a Thor. Now, this machine can wash your dishes, and it can also wash your clothes at the same time. So... The apply, uh, Thor Appliances Limited, Oxford Street, London, British Made. Now, this might be British Made, but it was first uh, in America. And we've got it in pieces because we wanted to do some bits to it before we started the video. And I'll explain. The back panel is missing off it. No biggie. But we were confused, and I'll tell you why we were confused, because when we took the gubbins out of it, we had a look inside, this is what we found. So, there are, the that's the original drain hole, so that one, that one is the original drain hole, and then that one has been put in at a later date at some point. And they both just come out there, where we put the two pipes on. So originally this machine would have had a pump to pump out the water, I believe. I don't know, it's very strange. Anyway, there's the motor. Well, from what I can tell, this green back bracket in here, uh, mm. where is it there, should be should have a pump mounted on it, which has a hose coming out here and then round. Right, so somewhere okay. about here. So that is missing off it. So currently it is just now gravity draining, which is fine because the water doesn't sit inside this tub, as in, this tub doesn't fill up with water. This is just the drain part. The water sits inside the tub there, I believe. But you will see that when we put it all together anyway. Anyways. Uh, this, I believe, is for filling it up. There is the pipe there we've just connected it up to there to stop it from draining out it's very very confusing so the first thing we need to do before we do anything is to test it because I'll show you the plug that was on there that's what was left of the plug not much so we've had to put a new plug on it an old plug but a fixed plug. So the first thing we need to check if, uh, is the um, power going to it. We're gonna make sure it works before we do anything because if it doesn't, then obviously I'm just gonna sell it as it is. So let's see if this is gonna be a short video. I've got it connected into this special RCD extension socket used for camping and caravanning. Uh, this is an additional safety. Um, Let's plug it in. Right, nothing's gone bang. So if we move around to the front. Okay, so the only thing I'm gonna be testing on it is the wash. I'm not touching the dishwasher side of it because I haven't got the dishwasher gubbins, just the washing machine gubbins. So to put it on wash, you turn it like so. You push it in, twist. And that is smooth. That's very smooth. It is. Wow. That is lovely and quiet. Right, okay. So turn it to off. Stiff. Hang on. Only two hands. Okay, now we're going to turn it to dry. And that's the spin. So it seems. Very quiet. Right, so that. Now that it's working and it's very quiet. First thing I'm going to do now is put the gubbins back into it. So 
So the first thing that goes in is this very solid plate. I think it's weighted, I'm not sure. It is, yeah. Okay. I don't know if that pushes down the hairball, does it, or is it? You right with that? Yeah, I'm just looking at the side. Okay. This is the washing machine tub. Was okay. there a thing that screwed on, wasn't there? There. Then oh yeah, we that went on. The agitator in. And then screw it down, I think. And then I screw the agitator on. You sure that's all right? Yeah. Right, okay, so let's go to wash again. Oh, that's cool, because it, it, that runs around at the same time. It's only now that there's weight in it. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're washing, that would be a bit more free, but you can hold it there. But it does go. And it does sound really sweet, doesn't it? It's so smooth. Right, okay. Okay, now dry. Wait, turn it off, I think that might be loose. Maybe? No? No, it dislocates, it dislocates, it, it um, takes off the gear from one onto oh, the other. Right, okay. I reckon that's about 500 RPM, something like that. <laughs> and the water is going to swirl up from the sides and come out through the top. Yeah, there's a lot of holes at the top. Separate from it. Yeah. Well, we know it works. So the video can continue. All right. So let me take these gubbins back out. This is from the 1950s. Is it the 50s? Oh. Early 1950s. I'm assuming that that these bars are there to stop uh, water coming out. Uh, the clothes. Uh, clothes rather. Yeah. Like a spin mat type Ingenious, thing. isn't it? Quite good, yeah. Right, I'm going to take this one out. And I'm going to take out the big metal plate. Uh-huh. Oh, see what happens. Yeah, I'd say leave it unplugged while we water test it. Well... I think we should clean it and water test it. Now the water's gonna come out, so I need to, I think we need to get it on the drive. Yep, right. So on. let's move it. Okay, we've got it on the drive. Now this is never meant to be filled with water. It's never meant to have a full water on it. It's never meant to go higher than that. It just sits at the bottom mm -hmm. and then some gets pumped. Um, but this one, because the pump's been removed, it's now gravity fed. So this isn't, is yeah, this isn't to, that's why you have the tub that goes in it for the washing right. machine that only has the holes at the top. Uh -huh. So it's only supposed to take small amounts of water, not fill up. Because okay. it's the actual tub, that's, that's what you fill up I'm with sure water. I'm sure I've seen a video with the water way up. Yeah, but that's in the tub. Oh. That's the tub you put in. So when you put oh, the dish, oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. So when you put the dishwasher stuff on as well, it's the same yeah. thing. So we are, we have kind of blocked them up a bit. So we're going to put some water into it. Obviously, obviously, it's not going to go any higher than the plastic. Okay, okay. here goes. Oh, can you see that tap on again? Jeez, door. So I'm not going to get any of this wet. Stupid 
thing fell over. Mm -hmm. Right, so the first one is fine. Let's put a bit more in. Oh, there's a drip, but that's probably because it's not sealed that well so it's gone. Got a lot of water pouring out, but then I'm gonna go strong. Mm -hmm. Check it in the in the in the it in the top area. Oh, yeah. Right, so both of those outlet teeth things are over the letting wall. Yeah. I mean, there's water coming out of this one. There's no water coming out of this one, but there's a lot of water coming out of down here, yeah. which I can't figure out. There's more water dripping from there than there is up here. So unless Hang on, I can see that drip there. Yeah, but unless you the go right at the bottom, literally underneath the machine. Down here. Yeah. Yeah, it, that's from this. No, that one's not dripping. Or, yeah. This one's dripping. Yeah, but look, if you look down there, that's a faster drip than that is. Way down on the floor. Okay. Uh, yeah. Loads of water. There's more dripping there than there is at the top. That's what I'm saying. Okay, so those bolts which hold the machine are leaking a bit. Nowhere near the motor or anything. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean it up. So we're gonna clean up the inside of it, wash it and keep rinsing it out um, and get rid of all the water and the muck. So that's our first job. Okay, we've done the inside. That looks much better and the top. Now we're gonna go and do around the outside. Okay, look at that now. That is so different compared to what it was a little while ago. So the first thing we're gonna put in is the plate. Get that centered mm, by feeling it. Next, I'm going to put in this washing tub. Now I put in Does the... that locate out on the front thing, though? Because I just saw a keyway on there. There you go. There we go. Agitator. I think it does, actually. There's a couple of little key ways, but I don't think I hold it much. That feels better there. go look at that let's take you off the controls are now clean 
You can actually read them. And lubricate it. And lubricate it so they move better. Wash off. I'll leave it there on off. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. Uh, I think that is a hot air vent, steam vent. Because mm -hmm. there's a thing down there, I can see that. This is where the water comes in, into the drum, tub. Um, and because the back is bodged, then obviously that's going to be a bit bodged as well, unfortunately, because they've put a hole in it. So what I'm going to do is oh, let the water drain out. I don't need any water in it. Okay, so that will let the water drain out anyway. So let's take off the top. Let's take a look at the inside. Okay, so it's drier now, but that is like a, a baker light or whatever, and it's quite marked or whatever, but uh, it's solid and it works. That's the main thing. So what I'm going to do, or what you're going to do, is fill this up now with hot water. Okay, so it is filled up with water. We are at a temperature of around 60, on, where's it gone? 60 degrees. That's the hottest it comes out of the tap. We're just gonna plug it in. I don't know if you wanna bring it further back so that it's more in the drain or? Uh, no, I'll leave it like that. Yeah. Okay, so it is now plugged in. Let's get the lid on it. Uh, hang on a sec. Is it me or is that tub really wonky? Yeah.
feet. Mm. So those things at the side were just for your feet, so we can do that later. So I think we're good. It's cool. And that'll run as long as you want, I think. Okay guys, so after a lot of fiddling and feckling and whatever, I found out after I removed the capacitor on it, this big massive capacitor is gone. That's what was that's what the issue was, that's why it all fizzed. All of this on the inside just went burny, melty, and fizzy like an old firework. So you can see why why it went pop. So to get access to the motor to either replace the motor or the capacitor on it, it's possible to do, but I uh, don't know what it's absolutely beyond me. And that up there, that seal isn't working on it either. That needs a new seal. The rest of the motor, I mean, look at that, it looks like a car engine. Do you know what I mean? Look at it bottle of oil and a car engine. Talk about post wars. I reckon this came out of a Spitfire. So. <laughs> So I've got eight minutes out of it and we've had fun working on it and cleaning it up, but it's going to go on eBay, unfortunately. But uh, I'm going to transfer my laundry over to um, 
another machine and um yeah just call this one a fun little diy project but uh yeah i'm not that interested in it if it had, if it was working it was would have been fun but i'm gonna put it on ebay so there we go thank you very much for watching and it makes a change that i've got my hands dirty and using the tools rather than phil mm -hmm. uh, so the tools are on the other hand and i'll see you guys in the next episode bye y'all